Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Hope there's some ladies on the call tonight. I can't tell. Uh, we've got uh, all the usual suspects in a phone-in caller. We welcome you to our Wednesday webinar. Tonight's a little different. Uh, we're going to have a little bit of a Q&A session here. So we've uh, uh, unmuted and allowed everybody to speak tonight. So if you have any questions, uh, go ahead and uh, we'll open the floor. Just bring it on. Ask questions, whatever you may have. Uh, can I start off for a second? Yes, please, please do. Yeah, so one of the things that I wanted to talk about is um, I, I see other companies that are in this industry and quite often what happens is people say, I got to study the comp plan. And most, most companies' compensation plans are so um, complex that it, you, it's hard to sometimes really figure out how do you make money and where do you make money. And when we sat down and we um, created the compensation plan for uh, GCN, we wanted it just as simple as we can get it. And, you know, I am so pleased that when we have these meetings that uh, you can literally in under five minutes explain our compensation plan. That is so nice because, you know, the old simple, keep it simple, stupid. And, and so people have a clear understanding, how do they make money? And there's just basically three, what really basically three ways. One, three and it's free and you get your phone service free. The next one is the extra builder bonus. That is for um, customers three and four. I mean, four and five, you get, uh, um, you get $3 a piece. Is that, uh, or $2 a piece from six to 15, you get $3 a piece and over 15, you get five. And that's a direct commission. And what's really nice about that is that keeps us legal. It, it says you can make money retailing this product to businesses. And uh, because one of, the, one of the signs of a pyramid is uh, uh, can you make money selling your product or service? And clearly we have people every month that make well in excess of $100 from their direct customers. And then the third one is how do you get a volume bonus? And we call it a leadership bonus. And we started off very simple. We've made it so you get uh, basically uh, 24 people plus yourself that are PBMs and getting the service, you make $100. And then that goes all the way up to $100,000. You can go as deep as you want and uh, no more than one third can come from any one leg. That's it. How long did that take me to explain that? <laughs> right? Barely five minutes. And if anybody, anybody else has been on one of our, uh, our regularly scheduled webinars, they'll know that it takes less than five minutes to explain this. So. And, and, and the value proposition is, do you, do you use a telephone? Do you want to have great service? Well, we have it because our carrier is AT&T. Okay. Um, Absolutely. So you're not trying to get people to uh, take um, skin creams or essential oils. And I'll tell you, these companies that sell that stuff are always dealing with uh, the lawsuits from attorney generals and other people because in order to sell the overpriced products, they uh, in, try to put they make representations that their products are more than they are. And it's not that they're bad products necessarily. My complaint is almost always the other company's products are overpriced. So anyway, that's where I, I just wanted to get started and say, you know, that's, that's when someone wants to know what, you know, what we do, I just say, Hey, we, we provide cell phone services to businesses. It's over with. Absolutely. I mean, we don't, we don't, uh, most of the other companies out there have to create their market. We don't have to do that because it's already there. And, and, and again, we do have people leave us, but our, our retention rate is phenomenal. So anyway, we're working on other things that we hope to bring out in the future, but 
again, we have a, a great compensation plan. And here's the thing, you can get started for 40 bucks, <laughs> $40. Absolutely. And, and literally, how many, how many companies do you know that you can start for $40 with a product that you don't lose people and that they're happy? And if you put those 33 people in the first month, your service is free. You'll never have another telephone bill. And here's the thing. For your technology fee, once you get your three, it's dropped from $15 down to $10. And if you get six, again, it's free. But we also pay you for the fourth and fifth customer. So you actually just made another uh, $4. So uh, plus your sixth person, you made seven bucks. Yeah, so you're you're, you're running you're running your own mobile service franchise for, and you're being paid seven dollars a month to do it. So, I and, don't know. When I, and when I hear people say, "Hey, uh, I don't know anybody," you mean you don't know anybody with a cell phone bill that would cell phone that doesn't want to make money? <laughs> so th there you go, guys. Absolutely. So anyway, that's that's kind of you know I think you can tell I'm passionate about it. I believe in it. You know, I'm all in on this and uh, we're not going away. So let's open it up for some questions and be happy to uh, deal with it from there. So Roger, let's, let's take yeah. some questions. Every, everybody's open. Everybody, uh, I can, uh, y'all can unmute yourselves or I can unmute you or use the chat or raise your hand, whatever, you know, you're all free to ask questions. So please, please do so. I'm gonna. Hello. Hey Arnold, is that you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you're you're kind of you're kind of messed up. You're uh, you're you're breaking up there, Arnold. Okay. Arnold, can you type it in for us? Yeah, type it into the chat. Can you hear me now? Yeah. yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Why don't you go ahead and ask your question, and we'll see if we can understand you, Arnold. Okay. I just want to know uh, if you guys can post the latest. Yeah, we, we can't hear you. Can you type it okay, into I think I, Yeah, I think I understand that. So he, he wants the latest link for advertising GCN. Again, yes, yes, yes. yeah, so Roger, what, what you need to do is, you know, explain how people get to their business resources in their uh, in the portal. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm, Arnold, you've been around for a long time, so you know that you have your back office and uh, – there's a tutorial in our in our business group that explains how to set up your back your personalized back office uh, and to create a link that you can send to people uh, that you can send send people to your your personalized link you know with your phone number your email address your picture your etc. But we also we we also we also Roger remember we also have flyers and other yes. We have been, you have, you've got business resources, you've got videos, you've got flyers, you've got uh, documentation. It's all there in your back office. Uh, I don't know who, I'm not sure who your sponsor is, Arnold. I think it's Vladimir, but, you know, reach out to me or Ed or, or Kirby and we can uh, make sure you understand what that's all about. Uh, George George Wilson asked a question back in the, uh, the chat. Uh, how long have we been in business? We've been in business since 2014. Yeah, so we're in our fifth year. Yeah, we've had a, a couple of bumps and hurdles, you know, between now and then. But uh, within the last year and a half, two years, we've uh, solidified. We've brought everything in-house. We're our own service provider. We have our own uh, production staff, our own customer service, our own programming staff, our own website. So... Everything's in house now, and uh, we run we run the show. Now, again, you know, I taught uh, uh, at a graduate level in the MBA program for 15 years, and specifically, I taught how to finance companies. And um, one of my test question is, what percent of companies fail within the first year? Uh, roughly. Um, Within the first year, it's 80%. Sometimes within the two years, it can go as high as 90%. So, 
So for us to be around for in our fifth year, you know, it's, it, it shows that we have some uh, longevity in our company. Well, we also have a CEO who's been dedicated to making sure that we don't fail. So we appreciate you, Kareem. Well, thank you, Roger. You know, and uh, we do have other customer service people, and I think a lot of you guys have talked to them. Uh, but during the day, um, if I'm at, at the desk, um, I take a lot of customer service calls and, and emails and whatnot. And the reason I do that is because I want to know what's going on. I want to know what our customer service people are, are being asked. I want to know what we can do to improve our systems. And yeah, guys, we're still small, but I can tell you by, you know, it, learn this from the, a CEO of Avis. And Avis, the car rental company, the, um, the CEO, uh, he didn't, when he got appointed to be CEO, he didn't go and get himself a corner office. He went out and literally uh, sat in the cubicles with his people. And once, a, once a, uh, for one week a month, he would go out and work at the counters of all the Avis uh, uh, stores, all the different Avis rental places. He wanted to know what's going on. And I got to tell you, I, I was so impressed with that. That's what I want to do. And uh, I think one of the things that uh, our previous uh, customer service people did uh, as they were doing that, uh, you guys were a number. Uh, you weren't real people. Um, and, you know, uh, if you didn't pay your bill uh, immediately, uh, they would suspend and cancel you. And I'm saying, hey, you know, these are our customers. And, you know, why can't we work with them if they need an extra couple of days? You know, I had a, a guy right now, it's kind of a hardship. He's been with us for two years. Um, he uh, emailed me uh, yesterday and said, hey, I can't pay my bill. I just started a new job. Can you keep my service on? And, you know, I said, absolutely. Because, you know, Try going to AT&T Direct or T-Mobile or Sprint or someone like that and having them uh, on a prepaid program keep your phone on. It won't happen. I can guarantee you it won't happen. And so when you sign someone up with us, all we ask, we send out emails. And unfortunately, the emails, we only have about a 21% open rate. And so we send emails saying, hey, we're going to ding your credit card. Hey. It's three days before your annual, uh, your monthly due date. We're going to try your credit card, and then we send you an email. And then we try it one time again on your anniversary date. If that doesn't happen, that was when people were getting suspended. So the next morning, we send out an individual text to each of you saying, hey, you know, we realize that everybody can uh, have problems with their credit card or just need some help. Get a hold of us, and we'll be more than happy to work with you. We're here to help. And it was because I was seeing that, you know, these were great customers, and sometimes, you know, uh, their credit card, the expiration date was wrong, or they just, it, they had car problems, and they had to pay the car so they could get to work. Guys, gals, we'll work with you, but you have to communicate. And so when we send a text, we say, Get a hold of us within two hours. That's all we ask. Just get a hold of us within two hours, and we'll work with you. So, anyway, I I hope that gives you an understanding of our customer service. We're here to help. You're not a number with us. You know, I can tell you. I go over the our our telephone logs and who our customers are, and I know m almost all of you by name. So don't know you by face, but. I know who you are, and, and I really appreciate being a part of our company. And, and that's just not meant to be fluff. I really appreciate it. Okay, what, what other questions do we have? Okay, here's Mike. Oh, Mike <laughs> says we appreciate that, Kirby. Well, again, you know, Mike is a gr great guy. He, he's been working with us. And, you know, again, he's, he's seen how we have treated the different customers, and I, it just – it, it's an, a value add that I don't think other customers, other companies have, and it gives us just something that you can speak about 
that hopefully will win the sale for us. Absolutely. Hey, Paul, Paul, you, Paul's got his hand raised. Go ahead, Paul. Paul, you are unmuted. You are free to speak, sir. All right. Anybody else? <laughs> okay. Uh, Christopher. Has Christopher, it. yeah. Unmute. Can you uh, unmute him? There you yeah, go. He's unmuted. Go Absolutely. ahead, Christopher. You know, and I, and I said this a while back ago, and, it, and it's such a truth. You know, people will forget what you say. They'll forget what you do. But they'll never forget how you make them feel. Hey, Kirby, I can honestly say, and I know you're on here. I'm not just saying this because you're on here. That is such an important thing uh, to allow the retention rate to stay, you know, where it needs to be. When you have customer service, it's all about a service. You know, a lot of people say it, uh, you know, about the commission stuff. And all that, all that comes into play eventually. But the point is, if you can provide that kind of a service to people, they're not going anywhere. And that is the most impressive thing that I that I have experienced personally is the way that you make us feel. And I tell you, I, I just can't sit here and, and tell you thank you enough. It's just, wow, so mind-boggling that you would take the time to deal with people like you do. And I really appreciate your leadership. Well, thank you, Christopher. Again, many years ago when I was going to college, I worked in a sporting good hardware store. It was a regional chain. It was in the Midwest. And uh, the guy who started it had three sons. And I worked for one of the sons in the store. And they had an advertising part, uh, department. And they, they were in sales all the time, put them in the newspapers, and, and drove traffic into the store. And he, he made a comment to us one time. He goes, listen, I don't, they don't advertise to... Uh, get new customers, they, they advertised to keep their customers. And they said they, they, they were Nordstrom's before Nordstrom's became known for their customer service. And what he explained, he said, listen, and you got to remember, this is 20 plus years ago that he, he said that, listen, when we have a customer come in and open up a store charge with us, we know that they will spend $3,000 a year on average in our store. We make a 35% profit gross margin average. So over the year, we're going to make about $1,000. Over, over um, five years, that's over $5,000. And, and he said, listen, our policy is, listen, if someone wants to return something, 98% of them are going to be honest and do it correctly. 2% are going to take advantage. And they, he said, so what? If one of those customers uh, comes in and says, hey, these tennis shoes, which have been worn for who knows how long and just beat up, wants to return them, you know, back then tennis shoes were costing $30, $40 a pair. He said, then just give them a new pair or give them back their money. Because over the course of the year, we're going to make $1,000 from that person. And over five years, we're going to make $5,000. And if, if we say, hey, we're not going to take that product back, um, they're going to be pissed. We're going to lose that customer. And they're going to go tell five other people. And, those, and word of mouth advertising is everything. So, again, you know, you do it because... <clears throat> business sense but you do it because that's how you should treat people so anyway that's the philosophy Christopher so uh, thank you for the compliment it is appreciated absolutely sir George George just asked a question about the pH pair yeah yes. we, we've, so, been, we've been working on that so let me talk to you about that George I've been fighting with our computer programmers there um, I have spent literally hundreds of thousands of dollars with these guys. And uh, so they're trying to hold me hostage right now. And as you'll notice that if you go to your portal, that's, that screen comes up for three or four minutes. I mean, three or four seconds, and then it goes away. Um, again, um, right now, I'm in a financial negotiation with them. I feel like it should be covered under their 
statement of work. Uh, I apologize for it. It'll eventually get fixed, but um, I don't want to be a, you know, uh, feel like these guys can just take advantage of me. And so that's why I'm fighting with them. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's actually just a minor, you know, it's there, like Kirby said, for a couple of seconds, and then it goes away, but you're able to log in. So it's not, it's not precluding us from doing business. It's just a minor annoyance at this time. Yeah, just so that you guys know, we have invested over three hundred thousand dollars, and and a lot of that is my own personal money to pay programmers to write our program, and it's very sophisticated. Um, I had no idea of what it would take. I I can tell you, if someone tried to start up what we did, they it would take them a lot more money. Uh, we know it's not perfect, but again, guys, if you can give us numbers and help us sign people up, we have a budget item to where we'll be constantly improving the customer experience for all of you. Absolutely. Paul, you got your hand up again, and you are unmuted, sir. I, I, th I think Paul... Uh, may need to turn on his microphone on his actual computer, even though he's, he's unmuted. He's unmuted, yeah. It's probably his his computer. Paul, if you again, um, it's probably with your computer uh, that you have to go into your settings and 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 do it. But in the meantime, if you want to type in your question, we'd be happy to take that. Absolutely. Okay. Um, so. Anybody else have any questions? One of the things I want to say is, hey, guys, um, when you sign someone up over the weekend, uh, we, we can generally get them activated, but AT&T has limited hours, limited service, and um, if there's a problem, and, and a lot of times they have problems with their – you think they're a technology company, they're far from it, guys. They're dealing with systems that are 40, 50 years old, honestly, and they haven't upgraded them. So um, I'm just letting you know that when you do something on the weekend, we'll do our darndest to get it activated and get everything going. But uh, there are times that the situation is just all uh, dependent upon the interconnectivity with AT&T. Absolutely. All right. Anybody else? Uh, well, I'd like to ask you guys, and, and maybe you can respond in the chat, is this type of a format, uh, do you like it? Is this something that, you know, you would like us to do that I come on more often and answer questions and just talk about the compensation plan because I don't like to steal the, the um, limelight or the, you know, we have great leaders and I like them to be able to, to present and be able to develop the relationship with you guys. But I'm more than happy to come and answer questions and just talk about the different things. So if you find that this is uh, helpful to you, I would love you to weigh in. Please. I think it's absolutely needed, uh, Kirby. Uh, people want to know, you know, they want to know who the CEO is. That, that some people, that's very important, and and I just feel like that it's more of a a, a personable thing that you're doing that. I, I think it needs to be happening every week. I, I love the idea personally. Okay, so that's very helpful. Thank you uh, again, uh, Christopher. George has a custom. What kind of customer base do we have right now? We have about 300 customers, George. Um, uh, will there be a better way of getting the card to activate phones? Because I had a problem. Yeah, I got to tell you, George, when you came in, it, uh, <laughs> it was a trifecta. Um, I'm probably going to tell you more information than you, than you want to know. AT&T, um, when we first got started with them, uh, we couldn't even get onto their system. We had to go to a third party. Uh, they're, they're, they have a, uh, their old system is, which is at least 40 years old, it's called Phoenix. 
and they acquired Singular Wireless, and Singular Wires had their own operating system. It was called, it is called uh, Premier. And they were supposed to merge those together and have a technology base that was no one could compete with. Well, they never did that. And then um, they, so a couple of years ago, um, when we sorted out through the, the kind of the, the mistakes that we had with dealing with uh, third party people, we went direct with AT&T. And so I can log in. To, I used to be able to log into Phoenix. Um, Phoenix was as buggy as you can possibly imagine, meaning they just had problems. And uh, Premier uh, did things that uh, Phoenix didn't do. Well, this, this happened. Um, uh, they notified us and said, hey, we're going to get you off of um, Phoenix and have you go to another system that I became aware of that at and actual customer service people use, and it's called Opus. And so without <clears throat> any real warning, it was less than a week, they told us that they were turning off Phoenix and then they were going with Opus. And then they couldn't get us logged in. So you happened to come in right when that happened. So our system is better. Uh, I apologize for it, but I got to tell you, 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 you are the unfortunate person that got caught into it. Um, again, if you have a SIM card present, we can generally activate those in 10 to 15 minutes. If we have to send one out, um, you can, uh, we'll do that second day error, but that's business day. So if you sign up over the weekend, that's that SIM card's not going to go out until Monday afternoon, and you're probably not going to receive it till Wednesday. Um, sometimes you can be nice and go into the local AT&T store, and they'll give you one. Uh, sometimes you can go into a franchise store and buy one, but uh, I, I don't know what it is, but they hate giving out SIM cards. So anyway, hopefully well, that I'm, I'm sure a lot of people don't know that they can actually purchase SIM cards from us. Yes, and they're three dollars and fifty cents. There's a minimum order of five, um, and uh, we uh, we don't charge shipping on the, the when you sit, get five. If you want uh, ten, comes in fives, fives, tens, and fifteens. If you want uh, ten or fifteen, we do send those out priority mail, and that costs. Uh, Seven dollars for us to send it. Okay, so we have another question here. That's great. Um, uh, my this is from uh, Paul. My question is how to get started. I've tried everything with uh, warm market, cold market, uh, being in GCN since October last year. I need to make some sales, otherwise I have to let it go. Um, I cannot seem to get a fish out of the water. So again, Paul. Um, your, everybody's situation is a little bit different. I, if you are using the, the videos, that's what I found that works very easily. So um, again, we have that material that you can just show people. And um, you know, if you have people that say, listen, I'm in a contract right now and I can talk about contracts. Um, it used to be that there was just a contract and now they, most of the companies have split them up. Um, and what they do is the contract for your service is two years. If you wanna get out of that, there are generally early termination fees and that's on a postpaid pr program. Um, what, what you need to understand is every month, uh, it's not $200 the entire time, every month it goes down. So, if you're in the last year of the contract, um, uh, you can still get out of that contract. And sometimes they'll, move, they'll waive the early term termination fee. You need to know that they are prohibited from law from, uh, uh, they can't say you got to pay us the early termination fee to be able to port your number out. And so, um, they, they send you a bill and here's another thing, as long as you make a payment on that early termination fee, whether it's $5, $20, whatever it may be, um, 
they won't send you, generally they don't send you to collection and they're more than willing to work with you. Um, so yeah, absolutely, Paul, Paul, wh whoever your sponsor is, if, if they're not uh, around to help you, you can always reach out to me or to, uh, or to Kirby or to Ed Kilgore. Uh, you know, we're, we're here to help you. Uh, and again, uh, just use us for three way calls with your prospects, you know, get us on the phone with people who you have interested, you know, we're, we're, we're here to help you. So please don't think, uh, don't think you're on this on this on your own. So reach out to us and we can help you do that. Okay, let's go to Mike. Mike says, I have a friend whose sister works at AT&T. She's working on updating the systems. Well, I, I got to tell you guys. We can't pay her enough. <laughs> if, if, if Amazon used um, AT&T's system, they would be out of business. Yeah. Uh, AT&T needs to take some lessons from Amazon. Uh, okay, so if we want to know who Paul's sponsor is, I can get that for you after the call, uh, um, uh, Roger, and you can get that to him, okay? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I think I know. I think I know who it is. Um, accepting iPhones, we we accept iPhone. I don't know what that means, but I have an, a lot of people have iPhones. I don't know what that means. Maybe yeah. you could find on that. And George uh sim cards we sell sim cards george if you want to buy some sim cards we sell them for 350 each ruby explained that a little bit earlier so i highly recommend everybody gets sim cards you have some on hand because that helps you to uh, get activations a lot faster yeah and if you want it i'm typing it in just work <coughs> at a gcn uh for business uh, dot com. Tell me, uh, uh, tell me who you are, and how many SIM cards, and uh, tell me the size. So, most of them today are coming in as most activations today are nano, but we do have the old standards. We have micros. So just tell me what you want, and I get them out the same day. Okay, R Roger, I appreciate you letting me be on tonight's call, and everyone, thank you again for being a part. Again, uh, we're here to help, and 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 don't ever feel like you're going to uh, uh, bother us if you do. So I'm going to bow out, Roger. I got another. I'm actually late by seven minutes to get on another conference call, so I'm going to jump. Okay. All right, no problem. We appreciate you being here, Kirby. Okay, you bet. Bye now. All right. Good night. Well, the lines are still open, guys. Paul, I saw your question. You know, Joe's, he's a great guy. Again, you don't have to just count on Joe. Uh, again, I, I Joe's on my team, so reach out to me if you have any questions or you need some help. I'm here to help. Uh, let's see, somebody else has their hand up here. Who? Uh, Glenn, Glenn, you are, go ahead, sir. Yes, I've, I've got some other SIM cards that they still good. Uh, did they ever go out? No. That's, okay. No, which is funny about, you know, when we were with uh, Solove and a lot of us have been Solove, Telaw Mobile. Telaw was, uh, was, uh, was uh, T-Mobile and those, those SIM cards actually expired, but uh, I don't believe that AT&T SIM cards ever expire. So, yeah, okay. those are good. I All right, anybody else? Christopher, you got your hands up. Yes, I am so glad that he mentioned that about the SIM cards because I was thinking about that. You know, that's been, I think one of the biggest objections, I believe, is, you know, these stores are acting really strange when you try to go in and get a SIM card. They, they're like, oh, we can activate your service here. You know, it's just, it's just a big pain. And I'm so glad he mentioned that. I just emailed him already, by the way, to get 10 of them. So I'm excited about that. That That's going to really put a shot in the arm in my business, whether anybody else wants to utilize that amazing uh, deal right there or not. Guys, y'all yeah. ought to be taking advantage of that. That's huge. Oh, my it gosh, is. that's huge. It is. And that's not something we talk about a lot on our uh, on our weekly calls. So, yeah, that let that be known for sure that, 
SIM cards are available. They're 350 each. Again, you gotta order a minimum of five. So you're, you're talking, uh, what is it? I can't do the math off the top of my head. So just, you know, you gotta, that's 15, tools. 15. Thank you. <laughs> tools <laughs> are great. You gotta have SIM cards in your back pocket. I have, uh, I think I have 20 in my, in my, uh, in my. Gosh, that's so brilliant. That's so cool. And I've got, got a, I've SIM also got a SIM card cutter. cutter. You gotta have a SIM card cutter. Yeah, I got one of those. <laughs> so yeah, definitely have to have the SIM cards. I think the most popular now with the newer phones are all, they're all nanos. So definitely order, you know, some of those order, order, you know, five, five nanos and five minis or micros, I guess. Minis are the, the standard ones, which very few phones use anymore. So it's all, it's all nano and uh, micro, but I have a SIM, I've got a, a SIM card cutter on hand that I can cut standard down to nano and it works great, but definitely you have to be able to, uh, you know, especially locally, if you gotta have SIM cards on hand so you can activate people right there on the spot. Uh, 20 bucks, less than 20 bucks. I bought mine for seven bucks off of eBay. I'm uh, gonna be able in the future to be able to retail the latest and up to date phones. Yeah, we're working on the phone store. Uh, we, we, up until recently, we had never had a phone store before. We have one now and it's kind of limited to the amount of phones we have. I think we've got uh, seven, eight phones that we're selling. Uh, the goal there was to get cost-effective phones, but we're, you know, sources for phones aren't easy, especially iPhones. Uh, Apple just doesn't seem to open up, but we're working on sources for iPhones because people want the latest and greatest iPhones, the latest and greatest Samsung. So we're working on sources for those. Uh, we do we do have a phone store, so that's another great uh, tool we have. Hey Roger, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but I know like with Apple, if you go straight through them, they can finance you a new iPhone. I think it's like twenty or thirty dollars a month. Absolutely, and you can still bring that unlocked phone to GCN. Absolutely, absolutely, and I. That is what I recommend. I mean, a lot of people aren't able to afford that, but Apple has their own <laughs> financing plan. You can you can finance an iPhone for up to 24 months for 20, 30 bucks. You get on their, uh, I think it's called Next Plan, and you can upgrade every year if you want to. Uh, you know, so between our, our phone program, uh, Apple's financing, uh, Best Buy, has a PayPal credit where you can finance the phone for six months or so, which you can also do on our website. There's, there's no reason nobody can get, no, nobody's not able to get a phone through us. So you make money like Roger though. You can just go out and you know, buy them outright. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> lay, out, lay out that cash every time. Man. That, that, that's what I did, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. That's why I buy iPhones. They hold their value. I use a, I rely on yes, that resa are. resale value to buy my next phone. Oh, yeah. I, be, I appreciate the, the training that Christopher's given us. It's helping me. If I can just get myself going. I got had two or three supposed to be on tonight, and they didn't make it, don't look like so. Hey, guys, uh, just to let y'all know, too, I know he was talking about using the different resources. Y'all are so welcome to use it. It doesn't matter if you're in my immediate downline or not. Use that the landing page or the website I have. It's called three and free dot biz. I basically have integrated one of our videos um, on the landing page, so it doesn't look like it's a YouTube thread uh, or anything like that. It's just a generic landing page um, that anybody can use. So he was talking about that earlier. Um, about using, you know, different steps. I think for Paul, we were talking about that. Um, so basically, you know, say something to somebody, are you getting your cell phone service free, whatnot? And if they say, you know, no or whatever, say, you know, do, do you care to look at some information? And if they're open to it, send them to that three and free dot biz, let them watch the video, try to get them on a phone. And once you get them on the phone, the simplest way to really do this, guys, 
And I know people are like, well, do you have a script or blah, blah, blah. I think the easiest way to do that, show them some kind of video, whether it's that website or whatever, get them on the phone and just basically ask a few questions. Just say, hey, what's the best thing you liked about that? So you'll know, for instance, you know, whether they watched or not, because if you just say, hey, you know, tell me what you think, yeah, they're going to sit there for 30 minutes to tell you what to think. So the best thing to do is just say, what's the best thing you liked about that? Let them tell you, okay? And then you say, do you see how that makes sense? They're like, well, absolutely. And then you say, well, does that mean you're ready to get started today? If they say, i like to, but... All you need to do at that point, and what you're doing, guys, is you're qualifying these people. At that point, you want to say, listen, I knew you'd have some questions. Let me get my business partner on the line to answer those questions. Now, if they say, ah, I'm good, you know what? You don't need them. Next, go to the next one. But if they say, oh, absolutely, let's do that. At that point, you call me, Ed Kilgore, Roger, whoever's available at that time. Get us on a three-way call introduce us to your person you're validating the call and you're letting them know hey if you do this business you know you don't have to know the answers we have to dumb this down keep it simple stupid as what kirby just said and it's true keep it very simple let the video do the work let the three-way call validate it and at that point when you introduce that uh that person to your upline and never call an upline by the way but anytime you introduce them to them um, at that point zip your lip let the three point uh, the three three-way call a uh, party validator which be your upline let them take over the call let them answer the questions does that uh, honestly that is one thing that I guess a lot of people are hesitant to join something or they don't join is because they have questions that are unanswered that is so vital and so important. If y'all do that, guys, you're going to have more closes. Roger, what did I do? About four in about six weeks, I've yeah. got four personal. And George Wilson, thank you, buddy, for hopping on with me. Um, you went out on a limb, and, and I do apologize, as Kirby said, about the transition you came through. But you know what? It's growing pain. That's, that's a good thing that you came through it. So now you know how it is, and if we have somebody else – by chance, if that ever happened, you know, you, you kind of know how to relate to them. But anyway, I'm, I'm done. I'm going to shut up. But, yeah, keep it simple. That's all right. you got to do. You're I the, promise you're this the, you're the, You were the exception, not the rule there, George. So That's right. Uh, yeah, we appreciate Christopher. Christopher has been a great uh, – uh, one thing Christopher talked about a couple of weeks ago is the, the simple process, uh, you know, about posting. It's just a simple – Simple post on Facebook and uh, just getting uh, our teammates to uh, supply likes and comments on those posts. If y'all want to be involved in that, just hit me up or Christopher. We'll get you involved in that, explain how to do it. It's, it's so simple. And I think the more people we have participating in that, the better for all of us. So just reach out here on, in the, in the, uh, on the phone call or, you know, in the Facebook uh, chat groups, uh, Facebook group, whatever. Just get involved in that. We're, we're all here to, to help each other out. So let's make that happen. Uh, anybody else have any questions? Uh, somebody else raise their hand. Arnold. Yes, sir. You are uh, on mute you. I can't unmute you. You got your hand raised. I can't unmute you, though. You have to unmute yourself or just type your question in the chat, if you would, please. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, but you're you're garbled. I don't know what what's wrong with your line. So if you don't, you sound like, you sound like a fish out of water. <laughs> fish flop, out of water. Flopping on the shore. Okay. I'll pipe it in. I think at this point he's done gone through outer space. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to mute you, Arnold. If you wouldn't mind typing your question there in the chat, we'd appreciate it. Anybody else? Hey, Roger, did you say, correct me if I'm wrong, did you say on Monday nights that Kirby does a corporate call? 
Yeah. Well, he does a uh, leadership column. We have a group called the uh, Leadership sorry, Advisory I'm Council. Uh, there's uh, Leadership Advisory Council is, uh, I've, I've explained a little bit about that on our Wednesday night calls. You have to be Freedom, Freedom Leadership Club, uh, which means you have 15 personal PBMs to be qualified for the Leadership Advisory Council. That's what our Monday night call is about. And there are positions open for that. So if you are, if you're looking to be a leader in this company, then, you know, there are spots open for that. And we'd, uh, you know, we'd, wel we'd welcome you. Uh, Arnold said, are there family plans coming? Yeah, the, the thing about the family plans is we need to get a few thousand lines before we're able to offer something like that. So at this point in time, we need to, uh, you know, get out there and activate lines. I think uh, what Kirby said on, tonight, on the call tonight is we're at about 300 lines right now. We need a couple thousand before uh, we can go to AT&T and say, hey, you know, we need some plans. We need some additional plans. So, yeah, but they'll come. Those will come, but we need uh, we need activations. Hey, guys, I was going to make a suggestion. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm very hyper ever since he talked about the SIM cards. I just got really <laughs> hyper all of a sudden. But I, I was going to say, hey, guys, one great – uh, approach to use find your local cell phone repair shop contact them absolutely the there's those guys business. those guys are oh all my gosh you talking about volume for your business most of them don't they don't even uh they don't provide a service they may sell some uh, phones but how awesome would that be for this to be for your volume that'd be awesome Absol absolutely and again you know use us Use me, use Christopher, use Ed to help you with those people. You know, just get in there and see if they've got any kind of interest, and we'll we'll help close the deal for you. Ed Kilgore is great at closing deals. Paul, can you hear me? Yes. Well, I found I finally found out what uh, what the settings were, and I I, I fixed it. <laughs> You're good. I, we can hear you now. Excellent. Well, well, good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Um, since uh, AT and T, I'm seeing a lot of commercials up here. Uh, has a five G's. Are we going into the five G's? Whatever AT and T has, we have. But nobody's got five G right now, and nobody has a five G phone either. So when when uh, uh, Apple and Samsung and whatever the other manufacturers are start selling phones that are capable of 5g and at&t t-mobile sprint verizon drop their 5g networks we'll we'll have it i'm surprised because uh i've seen a lot of commercial from at&t that they are well they they claim to have a 5g evolution and i think there's uh you know a dozen phones that are supposedly capable of that i have an iphone 8 plus and my phone is supposed to be capable of that, and that's supposed to be available in my area, but I still do not see that on my phone. So, yeah, so I, when, I, when I, they get it, when they get it, and we'll get it too. So we are we are technically AT and T. So yeah, we will we will definitely have it. Yeah, the problem the problem I got I can't even sell a four G and a little five. Yeah, well, where are you located, Paul? Michigan. Michigan. Well, again, I know who your sponsor is, and we'll let's let's work together with him, and uh, we'll come up with some with some plans to get you going. Yeah, I, I work with him every day. Okay. Well, let's let's talk and let's uh, let's put a strategy together, and we'll we'll get you going. Yeah, I need to. I, I even uh, try to work with uh, Mr. James Yates. My other yep. friend. James is a great one too. Yeah, he's he's my other friend. Yep, absolutely. We're all friends here. <laughs> yep. Okay. Well, I appreciate that. All right. I need a help. I'm too old to go out and do things, but <laughs> I can't get I can't get anybody to, to 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 come along my way. You can't see it that way. Well, we just got to change your approach a little bit. We'll be we'll be good. Yeah. All okay. right. Anybody Thank else you, got anything going on? I'm done. All right, guys. Well, you know, we were not. I don't think we're going to do this every week because we want to have a little, a little more of a, uh, a business presentation for some new people. But, but we're definitely going to keep this uh, format going at least once a month. So, 
Uh, we appreciate y'all being here. And, uh, and unless anybody else has any other questions, I'm going to end the call and, and thank you for being here. And we'll post up the, uh, thanks Roger. Post up the recording here at the end of the night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Thank you guys.